This tutorial will walk you through how to crop and resize your digital photos once you have them saved to your computer. The first thing we recommend that you do is copy and paste your original photos uh, to your desktop uh, because once you start cropping the photos, your original photo will be lost. Once you have the copy made, go ahead and double click on it and it will open up in the Windows uh, Photo Viewer. You'll see a, an option at the top called Open. You want to open with the Windows Live Photo Gallery. Now, once the photo opens in Live Photo Gallery, you'll see a button called Fix. Go ahead and click on that. And the right side, you'll see an edit box. Uh, you want to go ahead and choose Crop Photo. The important thing here is once you start uh, cropping the photo, you want to um, uh, get the photo down to the image you want to see in the frame. Uh, keep uh, the box uh, somewhat rectangular uh, so that uh, once you resize the photo, it won't uh, distort. Um, but the, the size of the box isn't really that important. Now go ahead and hit apply, and that's what's going to show in your photo frame. If you're happy with that, uh, you can go ahead and close uh, the photo viewer, and you'll see that the photo has changed uh, to the crop size. Once you have all of your photos uh, cropped and ready to go, we suggest you open up our website. Uh, just open up Internet Browser and type in uh, www.thetapestry.com. Once the website uh, comes up, choose Helpful Hints. Uh, scroll down to about the middle of the page and you'll see a word template. Go ahead and click on that. And once uh, uh, the browser opens up, choose Open. And a Word document will uh, appear. Uh, the first page is the instructions. Um, we're going to go ahead and skip those because that's what we're going over now. Uh, go ahead and choose your first box. Right click on it. Uh, choose uh, Format mm -hmm. Auto Shape. and then choose fill effects. You'll see the picture, uh, uh, right click and change picture. You want to select a new picture. Uh, remember ours is on the desktop. Go ahead and choose the crop photo that you want to put in that box. Hit OK. Hit OK again and you'll see that the picture has changed to your crop photo. Um, once you have um, changed all of the photos, you can go ahead and save that. And I'll just save that to the desktop. Go ahead and close out of um, the template and the website. And you can see on the desktop now, uh, there's a file called Resize Photos. I can go ahead and click on that. Open it up. And if you scroll down uh, to the second page, you can see that's the photo that we inserted. Uh, once all the photos are done, you can go ahead and print either to a um, inkjet or laser printer, or you can save to a PDF and send the PDF to Walgreens, CVS, or other photo developer to have your photos uh, printed professionally, and then you just cut them out and insert them into the frames. I hope this helps. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.